So if you're wondering how to find more runes and Imperials in Destiny for the Menagerie, I'm going to teach you how really quick in this video. I'm going to get right to the point, not going to waste your time. So first thing that you're going to want to do is in the tower, there is going to be somebody over here by the name of Benedict. And what he has actually includes rune finders, which are right here. They are 10 legendary shards and 1500 glimmer. And I usually stack up on these like once a week in case I'm playing like quick play or anything like that. Any activity you do that includes strikes, crucible, and gambit, you will actually have a chance to find one or two runes at the end of the match. It's always a guaranteed one, but you also have the chance to get two. And on top of that, you can also get uh, Wolf of the Emperor, which you get Imperials from Strikes, Gambit, and Crucible, which actually help a lot. So let's say you're playing and you want to farm for Imperials and Runes uh, really easy. Just pop both of these at the same time and really you'll farm them no problem. So other than these two, um, Wealth and Rune Finders, he's actually going to have bounties for you to do, which aren't that hard. And after you complete uh, each of these bounties, you will have to find an area on, let's say for example, um, I complete one of the bounties and it says that I have to go somewhere on like Mars or something and find it. There will be a little X somewhere on your map where it's located and you just have to go there and find the chest it's actually really easy to do there's plenty of videos explaining each location this video is just going to teach you how to get them so i'm not going to explain that but in a further video i might do that but for now i'm just going to show you how to get them but yeah that's another way how to get them these four bounties are actually they don't take long to do you just want to defeat enemies at close range using you know sidearm shotguns that could really you know 200 enemies if you're doing quick play or just doing strikes and anything like that that's not hard this one, just loot legendary engrams, which will come with time. Uh, complete vanguard bounties, which if you're doing your strikes on all three characters, you get done no problem. And this one is just gain experience by completing tasks throughout, you know, solar system. Also not hard at all. But you can actually get runes and imperials from that, so make sure to do those bounties as well. Another way to get imperials is go over to your triumphs, destinations, and scroll over to minor, and then menagerie. For some reason, I had a bunch of these not collected that I didn't even know about until a couple weeks ago. Complete all these, and you get a good amount. I think you get like 500, depending on uh, which one. But I got a lot of Imperials. Um, it's really not that hard to do them. A lot of them are just completing bounties and stuff like that. So another way to earn more runes is you go into your Chalice, and under these rune bonuses, you want to unlock the first one as soon as you can. Because you get an extra rune from Warner by doing his bounties and just by using the rune finder consumables. It actually helps a lot. You can get a chance of getting two just normally without it, but this guarantees you to get two. So I recommend unlocking this if you're struggling to get runes that you want. I've actually been farming a good amount. I had one rune of desire yesterday and I've gotten really lucky and I have nine at the moment. So make sure to do that. All right, so the last way to get runes and imperials is you actually want to go to nessus and over to watcher's grave there will be werner over here which you can get the same bounties that you can get from benedict in the tower but you can also get them here if you're already heading here but you're going to want to go all the way over here and there's going to be a bunch of chests that you can actually open and they cost about 5,000 glimmer each which isn't that bad and you can open each of them you get imperials and runes as you can see from me opening them Right there we got 150 imperials one rune if you don't have enough glimmer you can go to spider and get some or really just get rid of a bunch of stuff you don't use but this is probably the best way each week to get them is opening these chests don't miss it every tuesday um it resets and you can open new ones but make sure you open these if you find yourself struggling to get imperials and runes it helps a lot i cannot stress it enough this is the most important part i'd say um, aside from root finders because this resets every week so you just want to make sure you get it it does help yeah so if any of this helped be sure to like comment and subscribe i would appreciate it i'm gonna be making more videos like this again right to the point if you already knew about this sorry but i'm just trying to help out people who are newer to the game and trying to learn because nobody taught me this and i honestly went probably a month and a half without knowing about any of this stuff so hopefully it helps and i will see you on the next one all right peace